Welcome to I Love Stocks. What a week it has been, so far in a way. What a sell-off it was yesterday. It seemed like it was never going to end. But NASDAQ's down about 10% from the high. So I'm kind of looking for maybe a little bitty flat day today. But who knows? This market's really out of control right now. The bonds have kind of took over. So we're going to check out. i got three stocks I want to talk about. It's going to be Apple, General Motors, and Nile. So we'll go right into them. Apple, everybody knows Apple. It's had a nice little pullback here. And we'll go straight to the chart. There we go. I'll type in Apple here. This is my SMA chart with the 50 and the 200. On sell-off days, I like to go back a year at least and try to find supports. We've had a pretty good sell-off from the highs up here of 145 all the way down to 120. So we've, we're getting ready to get into a new channel. If this channel doesn't hold here at 118. Now I called 118 when it was up here right around the 126, 128 area. I said that's a good little spot for support level because we have it's a little triple bottom down here where we seem to me like a pretty good little resistance level or support level at that 118. So we're going to go ahead and pull up the 20 day and look at the 20 day right now. As you notice on that yearly, let me pull back that yearly again. We broke down below the 50. And we got the 200 down here. So we do have a low, low support right around the 114 area, 113.93, that will run into that 200. And that's going to be Apple. So let's go ahead and bring this to the 20-day real fast. It did scoot on down here to that 118 that I asked for, and we did hit 118 exactly after hours. So I'm expecting to see a little pop on this thing. Let's look at the tape right now and see what she's doing. She's up at 119.41. Market just opened up about three minutes ago. I got a target of resistance levels that I need to get to. We need to break this 120.51, but we're going to kind of magnify this up now that we had us a new low here. We got that 118.77 area, then the 119.29, and then the new resistance to break is going to be this 119.91 area right in here. If we could break that, we'll go up to higher levels. And that's going to be on Apple. I am in this trade. I bought it in the money yesterday. And we'll just see how it goes. I got the 118 strike. And I think we can go ahead and run it on up and break this 119.91 today. But always remember the markets are kind of hard to predict. If the sellers keep coming in here, this can probably double bottom at 118, but I want it to break 119.91. That's going to be Apple. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be General Motors. Now, I really like General Motors. They're, I've been really excited about General Motors for, for oh, ever since October. Since this uh, new EV wave has really started to take place, and General Motors came out and said they were going to go ahead and re change their whole fleet so they're talking about opening up a new battery uh, cell plant and the street is still bullish on this trade now we did have a pullback on General Motors on Friday and like I said uh, their whole fleet they're wanting to change and I think that's just a great the probably the best thing that's ever happened to General Motors you know they've been bailed out by the federal government three different times and they just to me they've always had fake numbers and and I just never did like the trade. I know a lot of people follow this trade and have this in their portfolios. and But we've had a pretty sharp little sell-off on this thing. We've got a triple bottom down here that we almost hit here at 50 bucks. So that's where we're going to kind of put our little support level here. You know, we get down to that $50 area. That could be a strong buy. But resistance that we need to break is going to be this top right up in here. Let me see. we got one of them. We got one resistance right here at 5132. Then that next one's going to be right up in here at the next tier. It's kind of hard to see right there. 5181. And then I think we can take this back up here to around 5283. 
and then that's going to be like the pivot point area on the 20 day chart it's 20 day one hour after hours we're at 51.59 i would like to see a kind of a not a, a nasty day like we had yesterday in the market friday we need to kind of settle down and relax but who knows what's going to happen like i've said before so the low support the strong buy is down here around 50 bucks anything below that 49.32 i'd be loading the boat I think resistance to get to break is going to be the pivot point on the 20 day and that's at 52.83. So that's General Motors. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Nile. Now Nile's had a pretty sharp sell off here too. I like Nile a lot, but we are definitely due for a pullback. So let's look at the chart. I really loved the Nile presentation that they had and I just pullback is just beautiful i mean we're down here to 3821 i think we're due for a reversal i had a low support channel and i'll show you here how i found it on the yearly chart remember i'm still using my my uh oh there's one thing i wanted to tell you about general motors and we'll get right back to it if i can remember it but i had a little support channel that i wanted to get to from the pullback and that was this bottom right here right around 3984 we did break below that see we did break below that and we're now we're at 38.18 so I got a low support with a strong buy maybe right here at 35.52 to hold if that doesn't hold we have two more support levels to get to and it's going to be 32 bucks and then a real tasty strong buy load the boat at 29.15 but for right now if we can hold this this bottom right here it's real strong support at 39.84 if we can bust past that we can take it up to higher levels and we could probably see and we go up to the 20 day I'll get a better look to draw these resistance lines in I'm thinking oh well first we got to break this here at 4079 then we've got a little spot in here and I'm gonna see if I can get that on the five day five minute yeah right in here 42 and then we got this one right down here so we got the 41.49, and then we got this double kind of top resistance level right here at 42 bucks. If we can bust past 42, we'll definitely get it to 43, 42.95. But I'm gonna go back to that yearly chart again with that 20 day. Remember that low support right down here, right around 35.52. If this support at 37.40 does not, well, let me raise that up just a little bit. 37.60 does not hold. So at 37.60 is very important. If that does not hold, we'll pull back to that 35.52. If not, I'd almost take this trade long and get back up here to right around 43 bucks and then maybe break it on up here to right around the 44.39 area, maybe at 44.69 sounds a little bit better. And that's Nile. That's it for the market report. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember the first three things I talked about was Apple, General Motors, and Nile. Always remember Miss Vegas is posting alerts in here on Twitter. You can follow us on our Twitter plays in here. She also We also have stock, uh, stock twit links, and they're right in here. You can hit them and follow us in there if you're not a member of our room. Please subscribe, ring that bell, and hit that like button if you like this video. Always remember, I love stocks. See you today. I hope today's a better day than yesterday.